All right, Doc Positive here at the New Paws Veterinary Clinic. I want you to meet Chase. Chase! Chase has been coming here to see Dr. Claire, Doc Positive, leader of the pack, for about two weeks now. He came in a couple weeks ago because he was drinking a lot, he was peeing a lot, he was having accidents in the house, and Mommy brought him in and says, hey, Something's the matter with my dog. He, he, he's always been well potty trained, never pees in the house. Now he's having accidents. He's drinking. Chase here, he has a weight problem. He's a little too heavy. And because he's a little too heavy, he developed diabetes. He's a schnauzer, developed diabetes, not that uncommon in schnauzers. And consequently, uh, his blood sugar was through the roof. What was his blood sugar, Mom? Lee? 700 and... Yeah, something. The normal blood sugar in dogs is between 70 and you say 120, 130. His blood sugar was almost 750 the first time we checked. So his blood sugar was through the roof, so he's drinking like crazy, trying to dilute down that uh, high blood sugar. And so uh, I diagnosed him uh, right away with uh, diabetes and I told mom we got to get him started on insulin injections you're gonna have to do this she said I can't I can't give him shot you know can't we give him something oral oral medications do not work particularly well for diabetic dogs so this is mom here and she's the <laughs> best I'm telling you this is Marianne and she's the best that's Dwayne he's pretty darn good too you know but she's the best because she really has paid attention. Uh, me, I do not admit dogs to the hospital for glucose curves and the, you know all kinds of testing and so forth like that because what their blood sugar does in the hospital is not what goes on in the real world. That's not what typically happens at home. So when we started Chase on the insulin, I would have mom come in every day. I taught her how to give insulin injections. I taught her how to manage the diabetes. I taught her how to check his urine. It's fairly intensive, but she very quickly figured it out. I, I need one of those staples buttons that says that was easy because now she's a pro and she's been doing it for all of two weeks. Veterinarians forget because veterinarians, they're like, they make diabetic dogs so complicated, they regulate them too closely, they make it to where people say, you know, I can't do all that, I can't, you know, we're a little more flexible here with our diabetic regulations. We don't make it too rigid because if you make it too rigid, compliance is going to become a problem. And so he comes in now and he's doing great. We're now got him. This is his diabetic, see what that says? That says Chase Diabetic Logbook, diagnosed blood sugar. I'm sorry, I said his blood sugar was 616, and he weighed 36 pounds. That diabetic logbook is the key to success with a diabetic dog because what mom does is she records his urines, the day, the insulin on a daily basis. She's checking his urine. At home, uh, people who are diabetic check their blood sugar frequently. Dogs do not like to have their blood sugar checked frequently a lot of times, so we go based on their urine. We check their urines in the morning. We adjust their uh, insulin dose by the level of sugar in their urine. And so with this log book, we just go page after page of what our urines are doing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what he's... That's what he aspires to be there. Nah, that's a, that's a cute schnauzer, but Chase says, I'm much better looking than that. And so Mommy brings this log book in. We review her log book. We advise her based on and adjust her insulin. And now she's adjusting the insulin at home. She checks the urine, up, a un up two units, down two units, stay the same. She comes in periodically. The first thing I ask her I get people with diabetic dogs that show up and said, no, I don't have a log book. I said, if you don't have a log book for your diabetic dog, you are asking for trouble because that's where the first thing when people come in with their diabetic dog for a medical progress exam is I ask to see the log book. I don't even want to see the patient until I look at the log book to see 
where have we been, what have we been doing, how much insulin, what have our urines been, and I can tell people when they're having problems based on what it says in their logbook. So we got a nice logbook here, Chase is doing great, now we're, you know, I also didn't start him on insulin twice a day. Now I knew he was going to be on insulin twice a day, but I didn't start him on it twice a day. I broke Marion in here gradually. <laughs> Because I'm like, okay, you got to give insulin injections twice a day, same time every day, blah, 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 blah. And she says, I can't. And I said, no, nah, you only got to give it once a day. It's easy. Come on in. And then after we're doing it once a day for a while, oops, imagine that. He needs it twice a day. Well, I've been giving it once a day. What's another time? So we, we break people into diabetic dogs gradually. Diabetic dogs are not like diabetic cats. Diabetic cats, whole other story. We'll have some information on diabetic cats another time. But for now, diabetic dogs, the key to success with a diabetic dog is to have a patient, tolerant, understanding veterinarian who is willing to work with you and realize that even though I've been treating diabetic dogs for 25 years, this is Marion's first diabetic dog. So i got to make it simple, i got to break it down, and i got to explain it just like it was explained to me 25 years ago. I can't be in a hurry, I can't rush it, I have to take the time, go over the logbook, and explain things. And that makes for a much happier mommy, that makes for a much happier Chase, and Dwayne, he's just always happy. Aren't you, Dwayne? Yep. All right, bye now.